Real quick guys, before I start this video, please comment, like, and subscribe. Press the bell button for notifications. I'm trying to grow my channel. I'd really appreciate it if you guys just do a quick sub and uh, I hope you enjoy the video. What's up guys, this is Duff from Tier 1 Comics. Today I'm gonna be talking about uh, what I'm doing to grow my company. First, I'm gonna backtrack and let you guys know what I, exactly what I did to start this off. I'm gonna break it down into five parts, um, starting with the first part and then explaining a little bit of what I did in each and then at the end explain a little bit of where I'm at right now. So the first thing I did, I mean, I started off with my idea. Everybody has this idea of what kind of story they wanna write. They're like, oh, I got this idea for a comic book. It's gonna have elves, it's gonna have this, it's gonna have that, and this is gonna happen, and this character does this, and this character does that. So there's this huge idea that I had in my head, and uh, I kept telling people that I was gonna create this story, but it didn't really come into fruition, the whole getting the ball rolling, until I actually started to write it down into a script. Writing it down into a script uh, helped me a lot with the organization of my thoughts. It also allowed me to get others input on it. Because I'm doing comics, I started contacting my friends that are into comics, that are in a part of that that group that I'm actually trying to target and ask them what they thought about the script. A lot of those friends gave me uh, good feedback, uh, some holes that I had, some details I needed to add in for some of the characters and overall made my script a whole lot stronger than I had originally had it. So that's the first thing I did was uh, I wrote that script and because I wrote that script, I now had something that I could show others if I were to bring them on the team, give them some kind of thought or foundation of where I'm trying to go with my story. It also helped me organize a beginning and an end and also allowed me to find a place of where I wanted to stop before I headed into the next chapter. The next thing I did was, uh, because I wanted to start a comic book company, was made sure that the name that I had in my head was not taken already. A lot of people will start growing their their following and have it under a certain name and forget to check if somebody else out there already has that name. So now you have to spend all this time rebranding yourself. I checked to see if there was any other tier one comics out there and there wasn't, luckily for me. In another video, I can explain more in depth what I did to find out if it was taken or not. There's a bunch of websites you can go to to check a list of names that are already taken. So there, I had my tier one comics LLC. I became official. Uh, like I said, in another video, I can just go into depth what it takes to start an LLC, the legalities and the processes and the fees. So uh, on to my next point, this will be my third point, uh, is I started to create an image and a brand. In this process, I pretty much came up with the logo I wanted for my company, uh, the look, what I was trying to go for. That way, if I brought somebody to work with me, they can get a feel of what I'm trying to do with my company and the feel of the type of stories that I'm gonna be writing. My brother is pretty talented and is good at making up logos. He came up with some rough draft ideas, sent it to me and I was happy with one of them and I decided to make that my logo. You can always go on Online and find people that do it. You can try to do it yourself. I went ahead and purchased Photoshop and uh, went on YouTube and learned how to uh, create graphic images. So now at this point, I have my brand, my image, a script with the characters uh, well developed to the point where I went looking for my artists. Now, you could do this a couple of ways. The first thing I did was went online on social media and just started looking up hashtags of people that are hungry for commission. So you can look up hashtag comic artist, hashtag indie comics, hashtag comic art, hashtag. There's tons of hashtags you can use to find that person out there that's hungry to get that shot. I did that. I looked at a bunch of artists. There was a couple of artists that I really wanted to work with, but luckily for me, I had a friend that knew an illustrator who is also in the military in my area. So it was pretty much godsend. I went through the guy's Instagram and man, he was talented and he had the style I wanted. So that's the biggest thing right there when it comes to finding your artist. Make sure that they have the style that you want. It's pretty frustrating when you 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 put your style and you put your all into a project and those people never are satisfied. I get it, you're working for commission and your job is to try to please the customer, but sometimes a customer will ask you to do things that aren't in your wheelhouse or your style. So like I said, luckily for me, the artist was local and I was able to reach out to him. We met up, I explained to him the script because I had the script already. I was able to organize my thoughts and explain to him what the characters were like, what the mood of the story was. It was really easy for us to both get on the same page of what we wanted these characters to to look like and what we wanted this where we wanted the story to go as far as illustration goes we became good friends obviously it's a business so we did talk about how much i will be paying him 
I'm not going to disclose the information on how much I'm paying for him. And uh, I think that's something really between the creator and the artist to go over. Just make sure that you guys both are in agreement on the pace of the work, how you guys want to be in the creative process, how much creative liberties that the illustrator has on your characters, or if you're going to need to guide them. So after that, I got my artist. He drew up a few characters that I had in my story. I was very satisfied with his work. And he's also very flexible when I want him to change certain aspects of the characters. The next step I went into was some character development. And right now we're coming up with how the characters are going to look. What's the vibe of the illustrations. So far it's going really good. We got a few characters nailed down. And soon we're going to start some concept art on how we want to organize our panels and our story. All right. So now I got my artist. I got my script. Uh, we're working along things are rolling what I'm up to currently I created my social media accounts for the company and now I'm just reaching out to the community that would be interested in my book I'm doing this the same way I was trying to find my artists looking up the hashtags seeing who the active accounts are reaching out to them uh, just getting involved and engaging with the community I've created this YouTube channel right here as another measure to grow my platform and get knowledge about my book and my projects out and I'm hoping that everybody connects with me I know there's a lot of other creators out there that are starting from scratch like I am and trying to get the word out about their projects I'll be posting more videos as I progress in this journey to get my story out I really want to upload a video where I talk more about the plot of my story but right now I'm just trying to connect with you guys on a creator trying to start everything up level follow us on twitter and instagram at tier one comics there i post a lot of the artwork and kind of roughs that we have so far once again please comment like subscribe uh if you've done this before give me some tips on what you've been doing like i said uh, i'm not telling people how to do this i'm just telling people what i've done so far i'm pretty much just documenting my steps on trying to get my project out once again big thank you for watching see you later